on every difficulty. I say anyone who, that, who actually attempts that, good luck on Dante Must Die mode against Virgil. The last level. Up, up against Virgil without getting hit. Plus doing it in time, getting style, no, doing game, yeah, style points, whatever, and without getting hit. Let's get a triple S. Good luck with that one. Because this was actually the first Devil May Cry that implemented Triple S. So now he's basically unlocked his devil. So he's, he's even more powerful. You do realize how fast he must have been running to fucking do that. It breaks, it's like you're breaking into the atmosphere of space. I like him in 4 when you're destroying the hell gates. Yeah, it's best the thing ones, the best ones, the thingy one. When he's doing all his dancing <laughs> with the rose and he sets it free, throws it, claps, and then obviously makes a love art. And then the one when he gets the Yamato and he thinks, fuck it, I'll just take that straight and simple. Slice. Does all fucking twisting shit. Ping. Then you've got to always remember the thingy one when you beat the plant, plant boss and it does the one inch punch towards it. Ride the elevator to the top. Oh mate, this one can be a fucking ball ache. Dante versus Saitama, in a way, Dante would technically win, because Saitama still, is still human. Yeah, I, d I don't even think I'm even going to bother doing this, because you, you need way more shit to do this.
but yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm not just saying it because obviously, yeah, I like Dante more, but no. Because Saitama's still fucking human. Yeah, he's fast, he's powerful, extremely powerful. But have you ever seen him get hit? Well, yeah, you do see him get hit, but... Dante's sword, even his power himself, it can pretty much cut through anything. Fuck's sake. And obviously if Saitama gets the one punch in, yeah, it probably will kill Dante. But it's pretty much the same thing. Whoever gets the first hit wins in the in pretty much. Yeah, you can kinda say with the dude that stupid Sonic Sonic whatever his name is. That ninja. Yeah, you can say, yeah, he's fast, extremely fast, and Saitama can keep up with him, you can even see him, he's even probably faster. But I'm sorry, but Dante can keep up with Virgil, and Virgil's extremely fucking fast. Plus, if Dante had the Yamato, if Dante had the Yamato, be Saitama would be guaranteed to be fucked because Saitama wouldn't know about it it can cut through fucking dimensions it can cut through dimensions let me just slice you with this sword see what happens let me just quickly just eat you. let me just hit you with this sword plus Dante's got a lot of ar he's got a lot of weapons he's got a lot of, a lot of armory you could say he's even got the thingy ability he's even got the ability to stop time I forgot what it's called so it's, like it's on this is it Quicksilver? it can stop time Clicks his fingers of stop time. Saitama can't beat that. Yeah. Saitama is extremely fucking powerful, but he's still human. Plus, even on this, he's not, he's, not, he's not even, he's powerful, but he's not that powerful, because this is when he was younger. Number four, that's when he's extremely powerful. But it's just the fact, on five, he just seems weaker. To say that he's been in hell, he's been in the demon world, he's lost his power. Because that's what I still personally think 4's, 5's going to be. You go to the last boss straight away. The beginning of the game. You fight him. You lose. You lose all your shit. And you start from the beginning again. Who is your favourite? Who's my favourite bad guy in DMC? Virgil. Easy. kind of say Virgil's the Joker of Batman and 
is pretty much Wesker in Resident Evil. He's the perfect bad guy. Every time you see anything, he's he's sick. He's, he's, he's a he's 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 fucking cool. What makes him so much better? He uses a samurai sword. That makes him twice as better. He uses a samurai sword that can cut through dimensions. That can pretty much fuck you up in one hit. It can pretty much just go through fucking space and time if you want to. Because it's like with the whole debate, it's off this, it's when you see... When they're scrapping, Dante and Virgil are scrapping in that room. And then Lady gets involved. And then she's like clashing with Dante and Virgil. You know, supposedly D D Virgil's sword can cut through dimensions. No, it's because he's been fucking drained. He's been cutting himself about a fucking hundred times just to fucking get blood out of him. Plus he's even weaker because he's like in the like in the fucking area of the demon world trying to break the seal to open it and he's been cutting himself and then Dante comes and thinks right yeah I'm just gonna scrap with you shits and giggles cause I'm pretty sure they did a there's this show there's this thing on YouTube called Death Battle. I've not watched it, but there's, 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 there's there is actually one with Virgil in it, and he's, he's, I think it's he goes up against a dude from Final Fantasy. I don't give a flying fuck who you are. If you're going up against Virgil, there's no fucking one. You're going to Plus, he's one of those type of people that thinks, yeah, you're getting on my nerves now, I'm just going to fucking drop your head off. That's why I'm, I just want to see him in five. So I want to see someone... Since get, hell's been opened again, I just want to see Virgil as Sparta. It's the one thing I just want to see. Don Virgil gets the entire power of Sparta, and then he becomes Sparta, and then everyone has to fight him. Because even Dante is gonna fucking struggle. Because it's Sparta. For fuck's sake. Even with the, tr the latest one that I've seen, well, the latest one where Dante goes up against the dude in the fucking chair and he breaks Dante's sword. He actually breaks his sword. 
Who, who's done that before? No one. No one's never broke Dante's sword. His rebellion sword, he breaks it. You even see it, it smashes in his face. It knocks him flying. It back kills him. Well, it nearly knocks him out. Whoever's knocked Dante out. The only person that's done that is Virgil. So, he's got to be on five. Hundred percent. A foundation that brought out fear. Fear. <laughs> and then that's when I personally think, how do you know he just yes. did this all on purpose? He wanted fear. to be in the demon world because he stays in the demon world. In his, you know, obviously on the secret ending for this, you see Mundus appear, and then he says, "Oh, if my dad can be here, so can I." Those who were but obviously, he's been weakened. He's, been, he's just been desires, scrapping with Dante again. Being unfulfilled. <laughs> it was all because Sparta slammed the door to the demon world in their faces. And then obviously, Mundus is basically the devil, in a way. The only person that can slap Dante apart is Virgil. Because even, even Virgil is powerful than him in on this. 